today's video is all about my visit actually with our daughter Dub. That was kind of the highlight of the day. We spent the whole day in her closet, not the whole day. We spent about two or three hours in her closet, laughing and looking at all her hauls. Upscale, definitely upscale. I think those of you who have watched our videos consistently or who have heard me talking about our daughter, Dubby, uh, she's the daughter that uh, is always sending uh, just buckets of clothes over to me. She purges a lot in her uh, closet. And I get these wonderful uh, clothes that either she buys and doesn't wear or doesn't want anymore. And they're wonderful things. I, I've shown so many of these sweater coats and beautiful boots and shoes of things that are practically brand new. So I just wanted to give you an idea of, of who Dove is and her love of clothes and the fact that she can send me things that I enjoy. She also buys me so many beautiful things and she knows my taste perfectly. I was so jelly of her closet because as you know, I did start to do, what do you call it? A purge in my closet. And it didn't work out because it was a couple of months ago. It was the middle of the summer. The heat was terrible. I didn't have an air conditioner in this. It's a room that we turned into my closet or our closet. He has a little bit in there, but I had to let it go. Dub's closet is uh, just a dream, a dream closet. Not like the ladies that have these huge big rooms, but just a great closet. She loves shoes. She has a collection of shoes. Actually, all my daughters do, so. But we were looking at her shoes. We were looking at her hats all along the top. And we were so giddy and so laughing. Well, she had to retail therapy. She, she got out <laughs> about three or four days ago. And she hit some stores uh, as well as um, online. And she got some great things, which she was showing me. And I decided this had to be a video. It was so fun. So you'll get to see our daughter's closet, which the shoes galore, the way she's organized all her jewelry. You'll be so envious of the fact that how she did this. You'll want to copy how she did it. That's what this video is going to be all about. And I hope you really enjoy it. I've also shown you around her home and her fall decor and it's it's very organic and beautiful she This is another Big Lots wreath, guys. You saw one over my fireplace in the cottage and then another one on my front door and then they had this one. And this is in the entry. This beautiful silver piece. What is this used for, Dub? You just hang our car keys on it. Hang their car keys on he it when they come in. He actually has a giant punch bowl at the holidays that sits oh, in the antlers. Beautiful. It's really spectacular. All right, this is her big, long, kind of a buffet. Looks like it's a, a church piece, but it's fabulous. And this is the gorgeous dining table that Barry built once again. This gorgeous wood. They have a big family. Dub and Barry have seven kids and five, working on five grandkids. So they have a nice big table for when everyone comes. Mommy. Well, you inspired me with your video. I didn't go quite as wild. We like it a little more organic. Yep, I but like these the greenery. Gorgeous. I've had real ones. Yeah, that I've had. Now this is wooden. The big one on the end is um, also a real gourd. Wonderful. This one right here was actually a fresh one we bought last year. You know, I was going to dry it out. Like some that. some of mine have dried out too from years past. Yep, they don't last. 
but it still looks good. Yeah, I kind of hide it. Now this is their fireplace in their dining room. They have this big long table in here. And uh, Barry put the wood on the top of the fireplace. Where did you get the bowl again? Uh, years ago, I gave it to him as a present. It weighs about 600 pounds oh from Restoration Hardware. And at Christmas time, he, he gets a Christmas wreath around him. Around Dub's house. I love this painting. Dub and Barry found this on one of their trips with the little lamb sticking out of the bag. It's obviously a shepherd or someone. Look at her decorating here and there. Isn't that cute? This is a beautiful piece. May, this is from Holland, Dub. Yeah. And I had this in my shop years and years ago, romancing the home, and Dub used to work there. And this was one of the pieces that she worked very hard, very, very old. And the painting is actually part of the piece. Isn't this beautiful? This is the bed that Barry built for the two of them. He's quite a woodworker. And this is their bed decorated, it almost looks Christmassy, Dub. But it's beautiful, just beautiful. Antique quilts. Usually I have a white down comforter, but this is kind of our summer look. And over here, I'm gonna show you this. Dubby requested this um, a while ago, a couple of years ago. She wanted me to paint one of her best Christmases, right? Yep. And she wanted it huge, so it's what, four by three? <laughs> and it's Dubby on Christmas morning getting her horse, Joe, from Santa Claus. And there's Moosey in his robe walking across the front lawn at five in the morning or whatever time the kids used to get up in our house, our original home, family home, taking the horse over to join our other horse. What was his name? Blondie. Blondie in the corral. And that was one of her best memories, right? Yep. It's very much primitive, not my best work, but Dubby. How fun, your closet is so cute. <laughs> I can't get over it. Oh, and look at her hats, <laughs> girls. Look, look, look. You have a problem like I do. Yep. Look at look at these hats. This is his side. Oh, okay. that's we not won't as go fun. There. I can't get high enough to show you all her wonderful hats, and she looks gorgeous. Thank you. Too. I've already got some B-roll here for my next video. <laughs> <laughs> How fun. So I I'm haven't even them. unpacked the boots yet. I've got to get rid of all the... Where are your big boots? Of their, are of their, of their packed away. I've got to pull it out. She has I've gorgeous boots, closet. too. Oh, oh, God, Mom, wait a minute. Look at these. Little Tory Birch. What? What do you call these? Slides? Sandals. Oh, yeah. Sandals. She's Ooh, oh, tell me about the these. Way. Yeah. Oh, my God, Debbie. Tell me about these. Oh, you just put a mark on it. They were... Oh, no. No. You did. The, these were in the Sundance catalog in their outlet section yeah. on clearance, probably from last winter, but they're Pendleton. Never goes out of style. How much? I can't remember what I paid for them, but I got a wonderful deal. Like what? I can't remember. Under 100? I really can't remember. Oh my God. But Now, Debbie is a shoe addict. Yeah, well. And I am too. Aren't we? But what are these called? These you have always worn, and these are work Men's type shoes. Menswear, yeah. Menswear But they're shoes. cute. They're girly, you know? Yeah. And, um, oh, my God. How cute. You know, my husband hates me in ballerina flats. <laughs> he thinks they're little girly and the least sexy thing a woman can wear. But for whatever reason, what? he loves me in menswear. So what I've... is the original pair I gave you? These are oh, similar to something them. like that. Yeah. They were some bass, spectators. and that's when you got hooked. I on also these. wear oh, the that's, that's called a monk strap. Is it, and these are made by whom? Um. Oh gosh, I don't know. Uh, these are some just off brown. But these are called bird shoes. Free birds. Free birds. No, these ones. Oh my. They're gosh. a mule. Cute. I know. Now I've got to clear out all my summer espadrilles, and these are all my heels up here that I can't wear right now. Now you have to know that Debbie is an executive in a hospital, so she is a working gal. Yep. And these are her work shoes. Yep. Oh, but these are the shoes, my friends, that I showed you. <laughs> and guess what I'm getting for my birthday? Tell the ladies. They come in ruby red. Rhin Ooh. Ruby rhinestones. I think I They would have like a that. white sole. They're darling. Are they as blingy? 
there is blingy. You'll okay, love them. Good. Yes, Thank absolutely. You. Thank you, Debbie. Birthday or Christmas? Birthday comes first. <laughs> oh my gosh. Yeah, how and fun. they're more fall probably than these. Look Let's at this just, fabulous uh, closet. Now I'm going to show you something over here. Not me. Not you. So. I won't. <laughs> but she's just showing me all the new things. She has been laid up, as you know, for eight weeks with a total hip replacement. And once she got loose, she has been having some retail therapy. I am lusting over this skirt. It's a Ralph Lauren. Where's the where's the brand? This is a knit. Oh my god. This this is fabulous. And this was from a catalog dub or from Macy's? Macy's online. Ralph Lauren. Ralph Lauren online. And what would it be called? A Navajo Ralph yeah, Lauren skirt? There's a whole line of it. There's a dress. There's a, <sighs> a, a wrap sweater that's fabulous. But I thought I'd get more most wear out of the skirt. One. 65 no sale right no this but is it's gorgeous nice to wear it yeah with this little short chocolate blazer boots boots yeah riding <gasps> boots Remember when Debbie showed her hat in the hat video? <laughs> she has all her like pins. Brooches. Aren't these fun? Yeah. Now you see where she gets her lust for jewelry and This is one of my things. favorites. I have a... Oh, I love it's that. A, when I need a little luck, I wear yeah. that one. There's my Christmas brooches. Oh Can't my wait gosh. to bring those And you're so out. organized here. These, these it's actually are super messy right now. What's the and next one? The next one down... Oh, look, there's a bunch of garbage in here. This is where I keep all my bracelets. These are my watches in here. See, last night I was rooting around and it gets all messed up, but I usually yeah. keep my watches What's here. What's this gorgeous thing? Isn't that something? Ah, beautiful. It's a cuff. I love actually it. have it in black too. This matches my brand. I feel like these ladies are going to be judging me, Mom. No, they won't judge you. <laughs> You're a hardworking woman I and am. you deserve everything you have. Just remember that, Debbie. That's part of one of my next videos is pampering ourselves Purses. and treating yourselves <laughs> to luxuries. <laughs> okay, now this is luxury. <laughs> All her purses. <laughs> Oh, fun. And where's the latest one that was? We have this one in red, too. Barry loves to take but, you know, Doug this is out from, to buy purses. The, at the outlets, though. This is from the Coach Outlet. Wow, it's gorgeous. Yeah. Beautiful. Thanks, lucky, Mom. lucky girl, but you're working hard for it, kiddo. Yes, I am. And you deserve everything you have. I can't show you my organized closet because it's not organized yet. Look at the way Debbie has ex uh, displayed her necklaces. Yes. And down here... My scarves, scarves and belts. Yeah, and belts. Yeah. Oh, great. Mm -hmm. And pretty soon, when she gets all her boots out, we'll come back and look at her boots because she has a fantastic <laughs> collection of I those, do. too. Beautiful. What is this? <laughs> it's something I've been lusting over in the Sundance catalog since last year. It's... Oh, you, it's beautiful. Isn't it beautiful? It's velvet. Yes. <gasps> oh. Isn't that spectacular? Oh, oh, will this go with that Navajo skirt? No, it doesn't. No. I'm going to wear <gasps> it with some ultra suede oh. pants and booties, I think. Um, and I've got just a great Do you have an color. event for this? I do. I have an event coming up. I've, I've got a lot of events, oh. so that's how I justify. Debbie organizes uh, events. She's uh, CEO of the foundation of the big hospital, and she organizes uh, fundraising events. Uh -huh. So she, she oh, needs all these here's lovely Here's this cute clothes. top, Mom, that I wore, was wearing. The other day sh uh, that I oh, showed yeah. you. Ross. How cute is that? Look at the cute little, now, but it was eleven ninety nine. Look at the cute little pleated it's sleeve. It's cute. And you bought it in brown, it's you told so me too. Many... Where, hold this out. Which, is this, no. no. Where's that oh, skirt? Oh, this one. The, no, the, well, that's cute too, but it the long so one. Rad. Oh, that's oh, this cute. one. Yes. Put that, oh, open that up. 
This is dark. Oh. This is from Pyramid Collection. I Hold it up over there so I can see it. <gasps> Isn't this cute? And where does it come? Um, above the ankles? Pyramid Collection is the catalog. It comes down, it's very long in the back, um, and then you can see it's shorter in the front. It's gorgeous. Yeah, so I'm going to And what kind of fabric is that? A nice... And I love the ruffle that goes Rayon, down and crosses it's over. It's a nice lightweight, though. Oh, that's so pretty. Okay. Yeah, they're so, um, like, buttery soft. Oh, they're beautiful. And I'm going to wear them with, like, a wheat-colored suede booty. Oh. This is my fall outfit I've just been imagining myself in. <laughs> Welcome fall in I Debbie's know. closet. Wait, wait, so this is Sundance, yeah. just to let you know. Yeah, this was Velvet. expensive. an area they call Macy's backstage is their clearance section. It happens to be on the third floor of our Macy's. What is, is the jacket um, attached? Or? No, it's no. not. It's a little dress. Oh, how cute. Isn't that cute? Debbie has how many? She's expecting her fifth grandchild. Yeah. Oh, is that cute? Isn't that darling? Yeah, you I really know. had some retail therapy. I did. Kiddo. And look at and this, And what's mom. this? I got, I'm kind of, after showing my closet, Whips a little snack. <laughs> <laughs> you got that in there. Uh, I just loved the colors Ooh, of this scarf. That's a pretty also one. Also in Macy's backstage. That would be a good head wrap scarf, Isn't wouldn't it? Well, what is it, soft? I'm not oh, rocking the big... head, but I, I know. do for work. It'll dress up a suit jacket. Oh, this is pretty one now. Look at this. It's sheer. Um, oh, love it. It's big and it's long. It's tunicky. Oh, and, it's um, like a kimono. Yeah, kind of, but it's more structured shirt. like a shirt. Yeah, let me put and it I'm out gonna for put a, a little um I have one tank similar under to it. this. Do you know that? And wear it with just like some skinny black yeah. pants. I actually have Here. one of my menswear shoes has this plaid. Oh, I'll show them to you. Well, and how much was this? Um what does it say? Let me see. What's it say? It's right here. Sixteen ninety nine. Oh my gosh. Yeah. This is sort of like a... In the Macy's Last Chance. In the backstage area. Yeah. Yeah. It's their... It's their... It, they used to call it... Um, I think they used to call it Last Chance or something or other. And this is in the store itself. Now, these aren't yeah. online purchases. Yeah. No, that was in the this store This was all part itself. of her retail therapy when she was out and about. And that's the name. Here's a bag down here on the floor backstage Macy's. So you're near Macy's, ladies, get out. But here's a shirt. Look at Debbie's pretty table. She had her business lady kind of a supper the other night. She had the whole house decorated. I have to show Look you this. Look at these, Mom. This with oh. these wingtips, just oh, with black yes. pants. How cute, right? Oh, yeah. Or, cute because I never stop at one, <laughs> I could probably wear that one with it as well. The ladies will be clamoring for, for me to come over to your house and keep Oh, my you goodness. Tight. You have to realize that poor Debbie has been laid up for eight or nine weeks, so she's splurging, and she deserves it. Now I have to show you this. She picked this up in Walmart. I'm going to hold this up. The best is yet to come. Isn't that good for us. That's what we're going for, ladies. No matter how old we are, the best is always. The best is yet to come. Love it. And this is a sweatshirt. And I think she picked this up in Walmart. End of this video now coming up, you will see our little short visit with Moosey. I forgot to mention that in the beginning, but there's a little clip of my visit with Matthew and Moose just two days ago. And that was fun too. Moosey spirits are way up and he is coming home. When I go home Wednesday. And I, what are you pulling that down? You can read it. Your major, in the crinkle. I have a yeah. major belly. See his shirt? Yes, that major belly is going to disappear when you I put him on it. 
Oh, right. I'm ready for Halloween. <laughs> They're calling him a an extra kid. visitor today. Look who's here with us. Our son, uh, Matt. Don't wave to the camera for <laughs> I'm a rookie. <laughs> Hello, yes. everybody. Yep. I'm going down to Matt's Dad's to see his new house. Week. Yep. We're excited. He's going to start and laps around the driveway. Yep. Tell them what you and I are Stay playing. In a place facing right onto the beach. A be beautiful balcony. And it gives us something to look forward to. We, we have always lived our life looking forward to the next trip. So that's what it's going to be. And what are we going to have to eat? Tell them some of the things that we bring in and eat on our patio. Great Japanese. They, it's a Japanese restaurant that has different things. Just fantastic. An avocado bomb. <laughs> and then what do we get? The thing will be the... the uh, Clam chowder in a, in, a piece, in a bread bowl. Oh, we have that a couple times, don't and we? Clam strips. Ah, uh, can't well, wait. We eat, out, we eat out on the balcony. We're going to the ocean. Yep. Nice. Can't wait. We're there. Say goodbye to your lady friends. Oh, you're getting to be a flirt. <laughs> Around here. <laughs> There's enough 86 year olds for me to compete with. So fun getting together with my children. And by the way, I had a great visit with Matthew and his wife, Cindy, and their kids too. They just moved into a new home. So they're waiting for appliances to arrive and um, uh, furniture and various other things. So my visit with Matthew was great too. Thank you so much for watching. You know, the last video that I put up, you, you made so many wonderful comments and I wasn't able to answer them in depth because I was gone all day the day that video went up. So I wasn't here. I, in fact, I even got lost on the way home. Um, but um, I got home at seven o'clock that night and I was exhausted. So I didn't get to answer any of the comments. And, and a lot of them, I read every single one. And I thank you so much for sharing and enjoying the video. And by the way, the binging of other videos too. You're having some fun with our, with our channel. But just a few little comments, and uh, I'm, I'm hoping to do a little better as time goes on. So look forward to our next video coming up. I told you it's going to be different. It's a little bit of romance. It's a little bit of pampering. It's a little bit of elevating our life a little bit now that Moosey is home. Thank you so much for watching. I love you all. Bye.